looks as though the White House is actually fighting back against Republicans. Holy crap. So now uh, this follows the cancellation of some of the student loan debt held by the 40 by 43 million Americans, uh, after which, of course, right wing uh, figures lashed out. They're very, very mad about this. Uh, and in nearly every case, the person complaining about the small amount of relief, uh, 10 to, uh, to $20,000, depending on if you'd receive Pell Grants or were under that uh, income cap of 125000 for uh, an individual or 250000 for a married couple, uh, had their, you know, um, loans forgiven. The people that were complaining about that small amount of relief. So now the... Uh, again, the, the the Republicans here uh, had taken out something called a Paycheck Protection Program loan and then had that loan forgiven by the government. Hmm. So now the White House account, however, uh, decided to bring some receipts to these people who were complaining uh, that students got some relief and they started out with Marjorie Green and just kind of went down the list. So now the the other day I actually mentioned uh, a lot of the people who had had their paycheck protection loans forgiven. Uh, in fact, why don't we let's see find that uh, list here from yesterday. Here we go. You had Matt Gates, uh, nearly half a million dollars. Uh, Marjorie Green, we'll get back to her. Uh, Greg Pence, seventy uh, nine thousand dollars. Vern Buchanan, two point eight million. Mark Green Mullen, about nine hundred eighty eight thousand seven hundred dollars. And so, look at the list, right? There's a lot of money that was forgiven. Again, uh, the Paycheck Protection Program actually was about eight hundred billion dollars that were loaned out. So that's a lot of money, and a lot of them did end up getting forgiven. Now, I'm not against the Paycheck Protection Program on principle, okay? Uh, but the way that it was done, and I'll go into a little bit more detail later, uh, but it was very, very shoddy, and it invited a lot of fraud. So, that said, let's get to Green, right? Now, Green, she complained about this. Uh, what does she get Paycheck Protection Loans for? Well, according to ProPublica, Representative Green's family, as a construction business, took out a, a paycheck protection loan on April 10th, 2020, for a total of $182,300. In total, including interest, the federal government forgave her and her family's loan, totaling $183,504. All right. So now, uh, look, I love the narrative from the right about the uh, student loan, you know, cancellation being a handout to buy votes. What do you think the Paycheck Protection Program loans were? I, and that feels like a handout to me. Now, the program, again, originated uh, under President Donald Trump. They made about $800 billion in loans to all sorts of companies, ranging from small businesses to incredibly large, profitable businesses. But as I've said before, there's no oversight. This was a trough of free money. Now, if you want to compare that to student loan cancellation, which is heavily means tested, and again, only covers up to a maximum of $20,000, and that's if you have received Pell Grants. Now, you all know my uh, position here, full cancellation, free college. We need to make colleges, uh, and these are public colleges and universities, tuition free. That's going to solve the problem. Of course, the Republicans don't want to solve the problem, and it goes all the way uh, back to Reagan. In fact, The Intercept had a fantastic article that sort of talked about the history of how uh, Reagan and his uh, one of his education advisors were basically conspiring, talking with the FBI, and that's when Reagan hit on the idea of, I'm just going to defund Berkeley. I'm going to defund co uh, California's college uh, colleges as a governor, I'm going to do that so that I can end subversiveness on campus. You know, the subversiveness of going up against the Vietnam War, for example. Uh, and then <laughs> uh, there was uh, an admission here 
uh, by that uh, education advisor that, you know, hey, we, we just, uh, we don't want a, an educated proletariat. That's bad for us. That's dynamite, but in a bad way. We don't want that. So we're going to make sure to defund education so that people get, you know, who want an education have to get trapped in this debt cycle and they don't get any ideas about being uppity, you know, and not knowing their place. Uh, it really is an excellent article. Uh, and I encourage you all to read it. But that said, right? The average paycheck pro uh, protection uh, program loan forgiveness equaled about $95,000. Again, comparative to the maximum of $20,000 for student loan cancellation. Okay. Uh, now, as a result, of course, of this being a gigantic pot of free money, watchdogs estimate that billions in fraudulent uh, paycheck protection program loans were not only given out, but also just completely forgiven. Now, a lot of that money did not go to help working people. Again, the whole point of the program is, okay, look, we're in the middle of a pandemic. We don't want you to fire people. So we're going to give you all this free government money, right? As opposed to actually just giving it to the workers. No, we're going to give it to the companies, to the employers, to keep people on payroll, right? While we have some very, very short shutdowns or lockdowns, okay? That didn't go... That didn't really help working people. At least 900 companies borrowed more than $1.8 billion in PPP loans while laying off or furloughing up to 90,000 employees. And that's just one, as an, uh, one example from a report by the Center for Public Integrity. There's a lot more. And then we turned out, and it turns out that a lot of these companies, we find out that they were already in financial distress before COVID-19, they saw the vat of free government money that the Trump administration had passed and said, okay, we're just going to take it. We're going to take it. And then we're going to fire employees anyway. They were still forgiven. They still had those loans forgiven after they went out of business. Now, again, going back to the comparison, millions of Americans the 43 million Americans that have student loans, millions of them have been paying on their loans for years, decades even, with no end in sight. Again, some people have taken out, you know, 100,000, 200,000, $75,000 uh, and had made their monthly payments the way that they were supposed to, and yet still now owe 100,000, 150,000, 200,000. Now, how's that possible? It's because there's interest. That interest builds up, and thankfully, that's one of the things Biden's plan actually got rid of. And so that's one of the best parts of it. Still, they had paid these loans, and by the way, they could not uh, actually discharge them through bankruptcy. Look, I give Biden credit for, for doing this, but Biden is also the person that put these people in this place in the first place in this situation as a senator he had pushed to ensure that you could not discharge student loans through bankruptcy made it impossible so not only that again you'd have people who defaulted and if you default of course you see a gigantic hit to your credit uh and so you couldn't get a home loan you couldn't get a car loan you couldn't get anything else and so you want to compare PPP to student loans. It's just not the same. It's not a comparison here. Okay. But anyway, getting back to the White House. Now, I love that Biden is defending this policy unapologetically. Uh, I'm not used to Democrats taking a strong position. And then actually defending said position. I'm not used to this. Now, the White House account uh, that was uh, going back and, 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 you know, basically tweeting the receipts, you know, telling all of these people. And let me uh, show you, you know, just a, a little bit of that. If you haven't already 
If you haven't really already seen this before, here it is. Again, it's just a scroll through uh, Twitter. Here's the White House pointing out how much she got and then how much Vern Buchanan had, uh, how much Mark Wayne Mullen had, just showing those receipts. Kevin Hearn, uh, Mike Kelly, just absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And so that White House account really illustrates that, hey, we're, we're, we're fighting. Uh, we're actually going to call out Republicans on their BS. Not used to it. So now I want to give credit, of course, to the person who is running that, uh, and that is Megan Coyne. Uh, Megan Coyne is a Jersey native who, uh, you know, has run social media accounts before in New Jersey filled with dunks. Love it. I'm here for it. Again, I'm used to Democrats apologizing to Republicans, but the Biden administration is finally politically punching them in the face. Politically. Politically. I don't know what happened. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't know what made them decide to go in this direction. But, hey, <laughs> I'm here for it. Say goodbye to Sleepy Joe and say hello to Dark Brandon.